Greetings, fellow time travelers. We're coming to you from our headquarters at Bread Bread. Here in Gresham, this is the only bastion we've been able to get reliable internet and stay hydrated and work all day. Luckily, we've had our shots. It's kind of our office outside of the van. Today, you'll notice we're trying a new format. It's been convenient to take video panos instead of pictures. They really capture the moment. They can be stitched together and all around they're better for storytelling. And uh, later on you'll hear me talk about Mist and Riven, the games, briefly. And overall the idea is to let you experience these brief bubbles that present themselves in our lives. Well, we've stitched together some of the things that we've been doing today into a little bit of a video. Where possible, I'll try and include some of the dates. They're mostly in order, but without further ado, I hope that you can enjoy this Snail Space video essay. Oh, well, we gamble for vanity. I wanted to show you where Bree and I decided to stay last night. Another van video. It's another van video, yep. This is us. Well, I'm documenting this because that's kind of the journey that we're on right now. Part of our morning was trying to get this fixed. Um, yesterday we posted a video, I don't know when you're seeing this because I'm not going to get post happy with these, but yesterday we posted a video about our van working again, yay, yay, yay! And then we went 80% up the way to Mount Tabor and walked around there and picnicked and came back. We were gone two or three hours, we come back to the van, the things that were working, of course we went back to not working again. So, and in fact we talked about that as we bumbled because we are, we're not high drama, we're not dramatic people and we're very realistic and so we're like hey let's not roll the windows down before we shut it off and shit like that because uh, we needed to go right back to the way it is. In fact Bree you can lower your window just a little more. Yeah. So anyway stuff's working again but here's what I notice. Here's the through line since you need more than one occasion to do science. When we got in the van around what was it this time yesterday? Three or four? Yeah two or three four it, this was reading 95 degrees. I know now today that there is no body control module. Everything that I've been hearing about the body control or the MCM module, yeah, either of those modules, doesn't exist. We went to a dealer. Dealer said it's the TIPM. This is a module I actually know about. I've, it's been on the fringes of it's been on the fringes of my understanding because I didn't think that I should go there. Yeah, to say it, Bree. Totally integrated. Power. power module. Power module. It tells the power where to go. The fact that that little guy's on, and that's what threw me off. Do you remember I swore yesterday when, when we were packing and those little lights back there were on? See that guy? Yeah. I knew something was up. I just didn't think that the front would work. So yeah, everything's working for now, which is great, because I said to Bree, we're just finishing up here at the park. I said to Bree, hey, you want to go sweat while we find somewhere else to be? Well, because this works, then our AC actually works. That icon comes on all the time, but it actually doesn't go through the power module and engage the compressor. So we just have blowing air. Which is sometimes bed. Still better than sweating. So look at this video we're making, and why are we making it? Because I lost my phone, but I found it. <laughs> yes. And where was it? On top of the van. For while we were driving. We drove from Jess's neighborhood to Fred Meyer to here. Praise God that the phone stayed on the van. Just like the little seashell. I don't know if you've seen that video, but we took it. Uh, you know, objects want to maintain their momentum and clump together. And so luckily, the <laughs> uh, we're not buying a new phone. It was on airplane mode anyway. So like I was saying, we wouldn't have been able to find it using the, the Google Find Me thing. But because we slowly and 
calmly, so as to not freak out about losing the phone, decided to dissect the van, we're doing the other thing that we've been saying that we wanted to do, and that is transition the bedding and everything over to summer configuration instead of winter. So, we're at a spot where we almost decided to stay last night, but they, that was when we were in the park. Use the park. But then, coming on this side of things, we decided not to, because they've got their signs up, and we don't want to get towed. I've only had my car towed once, and I've never had my car towed while I was in it, asleep. <laughs> Let's make sure that doesn't happen. So yeah, these are the three modules I've talked to you about, and here's one that we kept a ton of different bedding in. And what's fun, like a little time capsule, is we opened it up and all went, wow, I was looking for that, or wow, I forgot we had that, or wow, I didn't know we had that. So the transition is going to be better and uh, there's a few things in there that we don't even need so look at what we did give those to goodwill today you got everything back in it's not so ghetto looking now we had our summertime bed going on we left the corner back so you could see some of the layers yeah it's real nice you want to start putting pillows in love yeah we bought a sheet last night a queen size sheet that we'll sleep under and it did a really good job just having another piece of cloth over us keeping us warm at night it's funny because the way the nights are here they're too warm until about four o'clock in the morning and then you're too cold and not super super cold but still you're too cold and you just need a sheet over you and that little sheet did fine we have used <laughs> towels for blankets now in our journey uh, I used one of our foam wedge boys uh, as a blanket one time because it was cold and unconsciously in my sleep I just pulled him on top of me. And again, any object that will have more mass and matter will provide insulation. Magic of television. So this is a version of what it's like to be in our bed, in our room. This is where we hang out. This is where the snails get made. No, that's not true. Main city park here at Gresham has a little Japanese island in the middle of it. It's kind of separated by a moat, and it's been a great place for us to be able to spend our mornings and relax and take in the natural, the real, even though this is a man-made, man-sculpted environment. Um, yeah, it's as close as we can get to nature in the city for now. And um, we've been coming here consistently. Oh, there's lights up there. Mm -hmm. In the Zen Garden, we weren't going to come down this way. But then we did. I can't decide if this thing is a turtle or not. I can see two flippers on the back and like one in mid-stroke on the front. He kind of got his head down. That little rock right there is his eyeball. I don't think it's anything on purpose, but I see a turtle. Do you see a turtle? I see the turtle. read a book. We're part people more often than you see. Here I've got my analog tools for some of the posts and uh, articles I want to write. We have a patron who we actually, I just asked her bluntly if she would help us uh, go back to paper last night. And she's going to provide us notebooks and paper and some of the curriculum that we're studying from we're actually going to solidify into a PDF so that we can print it out and have it on the road with us. Goodbye, bunny. 
That way, even if we don't have an internet connection, which is part of what I'm writing about today, our communication is strained because of Google Fi and also just the way that we're living our lives. So uh, that way, even if we don't have the connection, we can still be moving forward and generating good ideas and dissecting the curriculum so that we can uh, synthesize it for you. Circumstance being what it is, sometimes, you know, this life can get stressful and you just want to take a moment and treat yourself to a motel. So we did that very thing, but the only one we could find without needing another hundred dollar deposit was a few towns to the south in Tigard. That's where we found a good friend of ours was also staying, and she's been wanting to do van life. So we cooked for her in the motel and met up with her the next day. Doing a little video segment. We're here with our friend Pam. We actually had dinner with her last night in our room, but didn't take any photo evidence of that. And Pam is doing like we're doing. She's about to ready to launch her van life. She's taking her seats out. And we're helping with that today. It's worth noting that Pam didn't quite know what she would do with the seats when she got them out, so she resorted to taking them to her storage unit across town uh, until she can find either a junkyard or a pickup part or even someone on Craigslist who will take them. That's her preference. So we went with her. Because it's not just about taking these out. They're also heavy. I think you're getting it a little. Removing the seats can be a pretty involved process, and so it's rare that I have such specialized knowledge that I can give to a friend. But I knew where every bolt was, I knew the, mostly the size of what we would need to remove them as far as sockets. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. All that's to say that this went a long way to dispelling my own personal imposter syndrome, and I am always honored to be able to spend calories in service to a friend, especially when it reinforces that I know what I'm doing. It's not to make it all about me, but it's to say that, you know, any initiative is self-replicating, and so for us to be able to use our van, not life knowledge, nine months into it, to be able to help our friend Pam, it was a good day. Yeah, he's separate and pretty light. All empty. 
We hung out with Pam for about another hour at a park before we went to the pickle factory. A friend had given us a hot tip that the burners were having one of their first events of the year since coronavirus and all the chaos in Portland. So since social currency is so important to us, we spent a couple hours getting to know people and we met lots of cool people like Fractal and The Wiz, Molly, Robin, Starfish. We were just so warmly welcomed. And then we drove around looking for a place to park for the night. When you're in the heart of the unknown, you normally go with the devil that you do know, and so we spent the night back in Gresham. And after we woke up, we went to Main City Park again. When you're walking on the trail, it's hard to know when you've come to a place. But the vibe starts to change, and you go, oh, well, this is all different now. Hi, baby. I can take pictures, but video's better when I can explain what I want. But this is a nice picture. Everything starts to get rusty and red, even the leaves on the ground. See it? Framed in just like that. What's this place? We're in Gresham. He just pointed out that <clears throat> I have this excellent view over here if you want to see it, so thank you. Oh, you got them Agatha purple flowers in the little Japanese garden. I had a wonderful night last night where I got to meet a bunch of fucking high level weirdos like myself. Just people who think about thinking about. And what are we going to be today? How do we want to be? We get one shot at this life. I say all that to say because a lot of what I'm dealing with is ideation and personality. And I want you to know that this I want this to be part of our vibe on purpose. What do you think? I love this. Yeah, right? I love do you see these tree. purple flowers? Yes. Yeah. But those are, it might be irises. I can't tell from here. But this tree, I've never oh, seen. Oh, yeah, the weepy giant tree. bonsai. Yes. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Did you ever play Mr. Riven? That's kind of what these video panos are, just teleporting down the path a little more. Kind of like uh, you do on Google Earth. Same technology. Hey, there's Hermes. We can see him from here. You see down in here? Yeah, that's why I stopped right here so you could see the, the beaver hole. Yeah. Black and green mana, baby. I like this structure. This is something that I'd like to model. <sighs> Pretty easy, too. You can do a lot with repeating textures and normal maps, so. <laughs> What's on your heart today, beautiful? Just this. That's good. I have to share a mighty secret with you. We've been harried by these ferocious beasts. <laughs> You're so ferocious! You're getting away from your mommy. Harried us for miles, they did. The minstrels. The highwaymen. We've got Bri a new backpack and we've been keeping the phone in the back. And while we were hanging out with Pamela, I wanted to Pamela to witness Bree's reaction when I gave her this new little slot though. But if he's there, this video, He's about the bunny. Sweet little bun bun. And the bridge has become our new favorite hangout. Kind of our place. Say it again. The yips of war. Yeah, the beasts have caught another victim. You can hear them eviscerating their prey. Ferocious. Luckily we made it to the bridge. Last night we met two magical spirits who'd managed to free themselves. 
fractal and the whiz. And I was telling the whiz about my guitar playing method. And uh, I couldn't show him, I was telling, not showing. And uh, as he listened and followed along very well, he said, well, it sounds like you're explaining how one might play a dulcimer. And because language and understanding is infectious, I've heard of a dulcimer, of course. But I haven't thought of a dulcimer, and that wasn't a word that was on my tongue, and so I haven't studied it much. We're going to go to our headquarters after this and maybe beg for internet, but uh, yes, I will research now the play style and the keying of a dulcimer. And he said, those also are known to have few strings. If you'll remember recently, I went from three to six, so... play a song for the butterflies. I call that song The Wheel. Thank you for spending the time to watch this video. Like I said, it's a new format thing we've been trying. It's taken me a couple days to edit it together, but it really is my supreme joy to be able to spend these little slices of our lives with you and give you an idea who we are, what we're about, what we spend our time doing. Because of the nature of our lives, it can be difficult to get communications out. So these videos are one of the ways that we are keeping in touch with friends and family. If you feel compelled to help us weirdos in our journey, um, here are some links. Otherwise, I want you to breathe well, drink water, stay curious, and be love. <laughs>